Excuse me if you hear me in this video claiming that the Nagoya is a counterfeit or looking at the label and other things, but these are parts and pieces of videos I put together to make this video show you how simple a Nagoya is, but most of them that you're going to get are counterfeit, but the counterfeit ones, as I say, do work just as great. Anyways, enjoy. Got me two Nagoya antennas. Probably counterfeit as fake, <laughs> as you know what. But anyways, even the fake ones work. Look at the lettering, counterfeit. The only problem I've ran into with the Nagoyas is, look at the female threaded section. May not stick down, compare it to your original rubber ducky stock antenna on your HD. And if you need to cut that back to make it the same length, a simple pair of side cutters is cut into the thickness that you need to remove, mark it, with a pen or something first, marker. Then just take a little bastard file and clean up the plastic around there. As long as you stay parallel with the edge, I've snipped those back with side cutters with great success. Then just took a little file and clean up any burr that you may end up with. But anyways, these are simple effective antennas. And I had one on a UV5R one time in Walmart Plaza, downtown Rutland, Vermont. I'm talking into the Birch New York repeater, which is probably... 45, 50 land miles away, at least 45, and I was getting into it at 5 watts full quieting, where it took me the mobile rig 50 watts. Don't know if I was just in the right place, right time. The thing I do to all these Nagoyas is I take some two part epoxy or so some JB Weld quick set. JB Weld is non metallic, there's no metallic fibers into it. I mix them up, and right where the base of this plastic piece comes up, onto the whip section I just apply a smear spread it out doesn't have to look pretty what happens over time is these plastic pieces will come up off the assembly below you can see the seam there which tells you another clue it's fake <laughs> I know can't beat these things up enough but anyways uh, they do slide up with time and wear and tear and everything else so find a little JB Weld or two part epoxy around that part there, holds them tight, lasts a lifetime, and really not much you can go wrong unless you bend one, drop it, and bend that 90 degree angle and try to straighten it. Anyways, they're great antennas overall, and they're cheap enough. Alright, put them back, I should just say, put the 868 back to where it should be. If you look, I got the Comet SMA24 on the 878 and Nagoya NA771 on the 868, so they both have high gain antennas now. Is that a real Nagoya? Probably not. It's probably a counterfeit fake, but hey, they work just the same. Nagoya NA771 on 146-100, I mean 446-100. 3.5 a little bit better still incredibly high wow